Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jewel Tolentino. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I edit our YouTube videos in Camtasia 2021. So this is gonna be like a workflow type video and I'm gonna be talking through everything. So I literally just recorded this tutorial video. For those of you who don't know, we have a YouTube channel called Esatino Artists and it's a how-to tutorial channel. So that is the majority of the type of videos that go on our channel. I'm usually doing a screencast recording with myself and the screen and I'm teaching something. So I just did one on how to upload a video on your IGTV from desktop because a lot of people don't know that you can upload Instagram IGTV videos from your computer, from your desktop. And that's the video that I'm going to be editing right now while recording this tutorial video. So I'm kind of doing like a two in one. This is exactly what I would do. And at the end of this video, this is the video that's going up on YouTube. So first thing here is I'm going to expand this on the timeline, pressing the plus sign, which is the magnifying glass. I like it to be past halfway, but not fully. I don't like it completely to the end. I think that's too wide. So I like it about here. Next, I'm going to enlarge the video here. A lot of people leave it really tiny and they don't think that they can enlarge it and they just leave it like that. I'm going to enlarge it to about this size and I'm going to change the color. But first I am going to do the audio. So the first thing before I start cutting and clipping everything is the audio. I have everything in my favorites. If you don't use favorites, I highly recommend that you favorite your favorite features and, and buttons and things that you like so that it can be in your favorites and everything's there. So I'm just gonna scroll down to the audio area. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna go noise removal. And then this was a tutorial video where I'm clicking around on my computer and I'm showing stuff. So I'm gonna actually add the highlight as well to the screen, which is on track one. And then I'm gonna add the clicking sound, just my personal preference. I like to have the mouse clicking sound. So as you can see, it came up yellow. I'm gonna change it to purple because that's our brand colors. And what I do is I make it a little bit more opaque, increase the softness, and then I increase the size of the actual mouse. And I usually just ballpark it, that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna go back after I've done all the audio and I've added the mouse clicks and the highlight. Now I'm gonna go to the color. So as you can see, I'm sitting beside windows and the lighting gets really tricky in here. I'm in a condo building and when it's summertime, you just get blasted or you look really dark. So I'm gonna go over to color adjustment, which is also in my favorites. And I'm gonna drag it down it's gonna make me black and white, but I'm going to fix that. I'm gonna reduce the contrast, increase the saturation, decrease the brightness, do a little more saturation, a little less contrast. I'm just gonna fidget around until I get it to my liking. And you'll see the difference in a second. It's not perfect. The, the color correction isn't perfect, but way better than before. So if I turn this off and disable the effect, look how horrible that looked. I was like totally shadowed out and turn it back on. Boom, I'm in color again. Okay, so we've got that. Now, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the bottom of this. I don't like seeing so many icons everywhere. It's just my personal preference. I find it distracting and it looks cluttered, so I'm going to cut this part off because it's not it's not of use for the eyes. So I'm going to just move that down. Okay, now I am going to make myself circular. As you can see, I'm try I'm not triangle. I am in a rectangle, so I want it circle. So I favorited the circle here and 
I need to add another track, so I'm going to right click, insert track above. It's going to create a new space area. And then I'm going to drag the circle down, stretch it out, bring it over here. Color doesn't matter. And then I'm going to hold the shift. I'm going to make it the entire size from top to bottom. And it looks like it's covering me. Then I'm still in my favorites. As you can see, you guys, if, if I didn't have this, all this stuff in my favorites, then I'd be clicking around in all the other places, which would take more time. When you're editing videos, you want to do things that are, is going to save you time. So I'm going to go to Media Mat, which was a cool new feature that they added in Camtasia 2021. I'm going to drag it onto the circle and it automatically makes me circle. And then I'm going to highlight this and have the shape highlighted because I'm going to move all of us over. So I'm literally just moving using the arrow keys and I'm moving me to the corner. That's usually where I like to be placed in these kinds of tutorial videos. Looks like we're all good. Okay, so now after I've done all the visual, I've done audio. I've done the color, I added the mouse clicks, I made me into a circle. Now we can go and start cutting everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just run through the entire thing and just start cutting. So I'm going to highlight these two. Wait, first I'm going to extend the circle because I don't extend it to the entire duration. I'll extend it to about here because I know that I'm going to be doing a bunch of cuts. So it's going to be getting shorter and shorter. My goal here, this is an, uh, it was a nine minute recording. I want to bring this down to, oh, let's see if we can bring it down to below five minutes. That would be ideal. So I'll leave this at the five minute mark. I usually like to play these you know, cutting editing games where I'm like, let's see if I can bring this down because the more that you can cut out, the more concentrated you can get your video, the better it's going to be, right? You don't want to leave any fluff for the viewer, especially if you're teaching them something, you want to get straight to the point. So let's start playing this and let's start cutting. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. And welcome to the Esatino Artist YouTube channel where we talk about money. Okay, so I'm going to clip that part. And I'm literally just going to be doing the exact same thing throughout the whole thing. If you don't know how to cut and do that kind of thing, check out my other tutorials that where it goes into more detail, like slower detail. Uh, right now I'm just showing you my workflow. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here, and welcome to the Esatino Artist YouTube channel where we talk about money, marketing, and mindset. All right, so. I'm actually going to chop this part too. Wherever I see dead space, I am chopping, and I like to get it as concentrated as possible. And I'm literally just sharing my exact thought process here. IGTV. Okay. So I'm just going to click that. And once you do this so many times, you kind of just know where to go and clip it. Sometimes I don't even need to, like I just recorded this, so I don't need to listen to every single little thing. Okay, so from here to... Okay, so I'm just going to highlight these two things and again, I'm going to chop out some stuff and I'll explain after why I'm not doing it over here. You'll find out closer to the end of the edit, but I'm going to move this like that and then continue on. All right, so we are nearing the end here. I've literally gone through and chopped it up, removed all the dead air. That's all I was doing removing the mistakes and this is the last bit here and it started off at nine minutes something if you guys remember and now it's like at three something so that's really good because i like it to be very 
concentrated, remove all that stuff, and just have the video get straight to the point so that it can help people. All right, so I've chopped it up. We're not completely finished yet. There's a couple of embellishments. So after I go through and chop everything, I go and do a little thing at the beginning and then I do something at the end. So let me just play this here. I have to see where it is. All right, so this is really... Okay, so for the first part, I'm actually gonna remove the screen here and you'll see what I'm gonna be doing in a second. I'm shortening this, removing the shape and having it only start here, this right here, I'm gonna actually have full screen. And sometimes I just decide this, you know, right at the end that I want it to be full screen. Okay, and let's play this here. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here, and welcome to the Estatino Artist YouTube channel where we talk about money, marketing, and mindset. All right. Okay, so I'm going to highlight these two pieces. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna group it and then I'm gonna go to animations, animations, click custom, drag it down, go to zoom and pan, and I'm gonna do a zoom in effect. Something like that. I'm gonna stretch it out so it does this zooming effect. I'm gonna play it. It's a little glitchy because I'm a recording. And then I'm going to add a transition. So I'm going to go to my favorites, grab this transition here, and then I'm going to grab this audio that I like. First, I need to add another track. Right click, insert track above so that I can place this sound right here. And with the sound, it's going to look really cool and sound really cool. All right, so this... Okay. Okay, so that was the beginning part. I usually do like a zoom in thing, and then I'm going to do a, um, a transition here, as you see. And then so we kind of... It's like, it's like to do a little intro, and then, okay, now we're going to get into the tutorial. Sometimes the beginning is a little bit more intricate, but this one is a little bit easier. So now we're going to scroll down all the way to the end here. And then the part where I say hit a thumbs up and then head down to the description, that's where I want to add some stuff. Head over down to the description. I've got okay. Thumbs up. I would okay, so it starts over there. Thumbs up. And again, I'm going to go to my library where I have some stuff already. And I'm going to find the video clip of me pointing down. Okay, that's me there, so I'm gonna place it over here. And then I'm gonna grab another audio sound. This one. Place it over there. Press play. Okay, cool. So that right there is pretty much done. I have edited the entire video here. We went from nine minutes down to three minutes something. I added a little intro transition, removed all the dead air, and then added a little thing at the end. So now this video is literally ready to go. I have to just render it. And how I do that is I go to export, local file, click on mp4 1080p click next title it and then click finish i'm not going to do that just right now because i'm recording right now but that's exactly what i would do and then i would take that video and then upload it to youtube which is what i'm going to do all right so that is my workflow that is how i edit tutorial videos with the new Camtasia 2021. If I was able to help you out, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and head down to the description as we have a lot of cool stuff for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.